hello everyone so in this video we are going to do some geometry of intermediate grade exam so in intermediate drawing grade exam this is the fourth paper and in this we have to do plain practical geometry and as well as solid geometry with lettering so the total time exam time for this paper is 2:30 to 5 pm so it is for 2 and a half hour in that we have to complete geometry solid geometry plus lettering so we are going to do all the constructions of plain practical geometry so in this there are total 20 sums so we are going to go through all the 20 sums in this video maybe we will divide first 10 in first video and another 10 in the next part of the video so these are the 20 plain practical geometry examples and after that we will do the solid geometry only one question comes in solid geometry any one can come and after that you have to do a lettering a word comes it can come in english or marathi or any hindi script uh, we have to do any one like this Uh, you can use any uh, colors for that any color medium of your choice and you can use your mechanical instruments and pen pencil for details so this is how the paper is the fourth paper plain practical geometry solid geometry and lettering so we are going to start with the plain practical geometry we are going to go through all the sums and if you are appearing for intermediate exam this will be really helpful for you for the last minute preparation so let's go on to the first sum so here it's written to draw a parallel line to the given line from a given point okay so here the question is given and the construction is also given so if you have a book it will be really easy for you to do because all the constructions are given so let's see the question so point p is at some distance from line ab which is 4 cm so it is given that ab is 4 cm so first what we have to make we will make a line measuring 4 cm and we will give the name a and b this will be the first step here also it's written that draw a line ab 4 cm long so this is going to be the first step then we have to mark point p at some distance from ab above it this is also given so from ab some distance up you can mark point p then with center p you have to keep a rounder on p and a radius of 4 cm so you have to take 4 cm in the rounder and then you have to draw an arc on the same side of line ab as p so we will place a rounder here take 4 cm and we will mark an arc over here like this then with point b as a center and radius equal to ap draw an arc to intersect the former arc in point q then we have to place a rounder on a take an arc of p and same we have to do from point b in this way so you will get a point here and then you have to make a line so that we will get both ab is equal to pq so let's do the construction of this now question number 1 so i'm drawing a line place your scale straight and whenever you start uh, the exam start with the sums from the left side corner okay not from the center or side start from top there are total 5 questions from that you have to appear four so you have one option so i'm placing a scale straight here we have to make ab line 4 cm long so i will just make line here 0 and 4 mark a line give the name a b naming is important do not skip that then we have to take a rounder and if you are using a rounder check that the pencil is nicely sharp or else use a mechanical pencil 
Now after this we have to take a point P above it. Anywhere you can take this is the point P. Now we have to make we have to take 4 centimeter you can just simply take AB because it's 4 centimeter only just take AB place it here on the point add an arc now we have to take same distance A and P take it in the rounder take it from B mark an arc like this now here we have got the point just mark it like this place your scale and draw the line like this naming is important and also write the centimeters this is 4 centimeter point Q in this way so this is the first sum is done now let's move on to the next second sum now here it's written to draw a line parallel to a given line at a given distance from it draw a line AB draw this line AB 8 cm long then draw a parallel line to AB at a distance of 4 cm from it so we have to take 4 cm this is 4 cm this these two lines are parallel to each other so let's do it let's do the construction directly now let's make AB 8 cm long place the scale straight 0 to 8 now after this mark two points P and Q on it so you can take it on any like here I am taking P here I am taking Q you can take any gap it's not given it's just given that this distance is 4 cm the P and Q this gap you can take any now let's take a rounder now we have to make a perpendicular so how we will do that take a rounder like this place it on the dots make a semicircular like this from both and if you are using a pencil uh, you can use a edge pencil or slightly light pencil don't take an extra dark pencil now increase the gap in the rounder place it here we want a 90 degree angle don't use a protector directly use the rounder for the proper steps like this now I will mark one arc over here now next point like this same I will do here also and avoid erasing now I will mark a dot here like this now make a line take proper points now we have got these 90 degree angle now we want the gap 4 centimeters so in the rounder we will take 4 don't do it directly with the scale take a rounder take 4 mark here mark here like this got the point make it little dark and then connect it like this now we will give the name the line first which was 8 cm AB PQ and here you can give C and D now here this gap is 4 cm so write that 
all the measurements which are given you have to write that. So, in this, this construction is done. Let us move on to the next one. Next one is the division of lines. Third sum, division of lines. Let us see. To divide a line in proportion to the division of a given line. So, we have to divide lines in different parts. The measurements are given. So, let us check the question. You can also do a rough construction before you do the final construction. Let us see how we can do a rough construction so that we will be able to know how we have to start. So, this you can do on the rough paper or very lightly with the pencil on the question paper or your uh, sheet like this. So, on a line AB, so let us draw a line AB. I am doing a rough construction which is 9 centimeter long. So, this is 9 centimeter. Mark points at the distance of 1.5. So, from A take 1.5 marker dot. Then you have to take 4 centimeter and 7.5 okay, like this respectively. From point A divide a line CD which is so we have to make a line CD 12 centimeters long. This is C and D at the same proportion as the division of line A and B. Okay. So, we have made a line CD 12 centimeter long. Now, we have to join the C uh, A and D and B. Okay. So, for that what we have to do? We will make an intersecting point which is O. Okay. So, you can do like this and we will just connect them in this way. And then we have these points. We will just add a line through it. Like this. Here it is given 7.5. You have to mark it dot here. Okay. And make the lines. Let us do the construction now. Let us make line AB. It will require some space. Make a line AB. 9 centimeter long like this. Now we have 1.5 centimeter first mark that 1.5 this will be the point E then 4 centimeter and 7.5 okay f and g then we have to make a line cd long parallel to ab let's make a 12 centimeter line now you can go slightly down and make 12 centimeter long line it's parallel just check This line is C and D. Now we have to join C A and D B. So you can simply join it like this only. You will get a point here. You can erase the extra line. Now you can give a name O to this point and now we have to just make lines through E, F and G 
like this. And give the names P, Q and R and write the measurements now. All the measurements AE is 1.5, 4, 7.5 like this. So in this way you can do. Let's move on to the next. Now the third part is angles. To bisect a given angle, let's see the question. Draw angle ABC of any measurement and bisect it. So it's very simple. Let's see. We can do the direct construction. Any angle we have to take. So I'm just making a line here. Very small. Let's take 5 cm. Give it a name any angle so just do it directly with the scale because we have to just bisect the angle you can make an arrow like this don't forget whenever we are drawing an angle make an arc like this now take a rounder don't use a protector directly take a rounder place it here add an arc now place it here, arc from both sides, make a dot, then take the scale, check that it's exactly half. Just watch it before you draw like this. Now we have to give the names. Let's give it A, B, C, X, Y and Z. Okay. Measurements are not given so no need to write that. And here it's done. Fourth sum. Let's see the next one. It's similar but we have to add more parts. Let's see to divide a given angle into four equal parts. Here we have divided in just two equal parts. Now here we want four equal parts. So what we have to do follow same step. Just take another bisect like this. We have to do for the second sum. Let's quickly do this. Uh, draw an angle of any measurement and divide it in four equal parts. So measurements are not given so we can do it. I will do it here. Same step I am going to follow. Same measurement. Let us take same 5 cm. Take any angle. Now first let us divide it in two parts, same step we will follow. Like this. Mark a dot. Add a line. Now we have got two equal parts. Now we have to take these two points and these two points. So I will take a rounder here, making it little small the arcs. Same here. Mark the point, place the scale and draw the line.
like this. So here see we have got 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have divided in the angle into 4 equal parts. Don't forget to give the names. Let's give the same name A, B, C, then X, Y and Z. No need to write measurements. So here it's done. Now the angle part is completed. Let's move on to the construction of a right angle triangle. So to construct a right angle triangle, it's hypotenuse and one acute angle being given. So its one angle is given. Draw a right angle triangle with 7 cm. So we have to take AB 7 cm long. Now its one angle is 40. So you can take any this or this 40 degrees. So uh, now here it is given 40 degrees. So you can use the protector here for making 40 degrees. Let's see. First, let's make a right angle triangle. Let's take AB 7 cm long. Like this. Now, before we do this, you can make a perpendicular bisector. like this make a line now we have to do uh, a semicircular curve. We have a center point now. Give it a name. Now we have to make a 40 degree angle. Take a protector. Place it on B. Now here it's 40 degrees. Place your scale. Like this. Now we have a point here. Now you can complete the triangle in this way. That's why we have made this uh, semicircular curve. If we make 40 degree angle, so we, how we will be able to know that this much part we have to do because its angle is not given. That's why we are made this semicircular first perpendicular bisector. Make a semicircle, mark a 40 degree angle, write that. This is also an angle, so make a curve, give the names, here I will give M, here C, A, B and C, measurements is uh, A, B is 7, so write that, so here it is done. Let us move on to the next construction, it is similar, let us see the question. To construct a right angle triangle, it is hypotenuse uh, and one side being given. So construct a right angle triangle with a which is hypotenuse being 7.8 cm and one side measuring 6.2 cm. So we have two sides whose measurements are given. So AB is 7.8. Now we have 
वन साइड सिक्स पॉइंट टू सो विद द सेंटर ए टेक सिक्स पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर्स इन द राउंड एंड यू कैन मेक एन आर्क एंड देन कनेक्टेड एंड वी विल गेट अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल सो इट इज अ राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल बट इट्स राइट एंगल ओवर हियर सेम इन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो इट इज अ राइट एंगल ऑन दिस पार्ट ओके Let's do it. Let's do the line seven point eight centimeter long. Seven point eight. A B. Let's make a perpendicular bisector. You can take uh, like this any more than half distance. Okay, as we will not be able to do in this way. So just take more than half. This is a half. Take more than half distance and mark. Now we have to make a semicircle. Take this as a center. Before draw, just check that it's connecting on the proper point or no. Adjust it accordingly. Because once you have made, uh, don't erase it. Now after this. as we have made one side 7.8 cm write the measurement now another side is 6.2 cm now i will take 6.2 in my scale in the rounder like this you can take it from a or b now with this i will mark a arc on semicircle so we have got a point here so now a and this point i will give name c add a line this is 6.2 cm and now you can uh, simply connect this line to the b c and b connect it here also you can make this right angle write the measurements in this way it's done now next the fifth part is a construction of quadrilaterals so here to construct a rhombus the base and one angle is given so let's see the question question number 7 So draw a rhombus with its base five centimeter long, and one angle is seventy degrees. So this seventy degree angle you have to take using a protractor. Okay. So let's see the construction. It's very easy. Eighth question. Now draw a line. base line is 5 cm so i will draw a 5 cm line then take a protractor 70 degree mark a dot make an angle like this now take a rounder 
place it here you have to take 5 centimeter like this and you can make a long arc or just mark it like this instead of making it complete in this way just mark an arc in this way so this will be the point mark it give it a name let's give a b c now we will take this distance a and c take it from b mark it mark an arc now i will take a and b which is 5 cm place it on c mark an arc so we have got a point mark it connect in this way we have this angle 70 degree write that a b c and d in this way it's done let's move on to the next one next is to construct a rhombus the diagonal of one side is given construct a rhombus with its diagonal 7 cm and one of its side is 4 cm so we will first take 7 cm line AB A and C is given 7 cm now with a radius of 4 cm with the center A and C you can uh, mark the arcs let's see how we can do this I am doing it here. This is a question number 8 in the book. Page number is 160. Let us make a line A and C 7 cm long. we have to take 4 cm and from both the points make an arc Now we have to take these points and make a rhombus. Check that the lines are parallel. So we have got the rhombus, give the names. So here it's done. Let's move on to the next sum. Next construction is to construct a rhombus its two diagonals are given let's see
two diagonals are given 9 cm and 2.3 cm long so first let's take the 9 cm line so let's add a line 9 cm long so here i am taking 0 to 9 giving the name a and c 9 cm long let's make a perpendicular bisector make a line give a point name O extend this line little bit more up now after this we have to take 7.3 cm in our rounder like this place it on O and mark an arc and give the point name M you can write measurements 7.3 this line is 9 cm now take O and M make a perpendicular bisector you can take a more than half distance mark the points now here we have got one point give it a name D now we will take O and D in our rounder and mark one point down like this give it a name B and now we have to connect A, B, C and D using scale and we have got the required rhombus don't forget to write the names and measurements Let's do the construction. You can do it here. Let's make a line which is AB 6 cm long. And now we have to make an angle of 55 degrees using a protractor. Place it 55. make a line so this is an angle of 55 degree now uh, AB is 6 cm write that now we have to make another side 4 cm so if for this you can use your rounder again take 4 cm in that place it on A as well as on B like this now you have to take A and B in your rounder that is 6 cm don't do it with the scale do it with the rounder because we want an arc like this.
market dot also 4 cm no need to write here because it's same like this it's done moving on to the next question now here to we have to construct a kite it's two unequal sides and the contained angle being given so construct a kite whose two of its unequal side being 5 cm and 3 cm respectively and the angle contained by these sides being 100 degrees. So this is the 100 degree angle. First we will make a line AB 5 cm long. This is 5 cm long. Then at point B make an angle of 100 degrees. So you can use a protector for this make a 100 degree angle. Now, with the center B and the radius 3 cm, draw an arc intersecting line B and L. Now, you have to take 3 cm and mark an arc like this. And after that, draw another arc intersecting the previous arc at a point D. and then we will connect it. So, let us see the construction. We will do the construction part of this in part 2 of the video. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.